new app seem poised to change social networking as we know it. I'm talking about Wine from Twitter, Snapchat and Path. These fast-growing apps are estimated to have a combined user base of close to 30 million people, a number that has brands sitting up and taking notice. Nikhil Shivadas takes a closer look at these apps and tells you how global marketers have already started leveraging them. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. It's what you get when social media networking meets Mission Impossible. A photo that self-destructs, a video that only lasts a few seconds, and a social media network that limits the number of friends you can add. These are the key features of three apps that are taking the social media world by storm. I am talking about Wine from Twitter, an integrated app that allows you to post six seconds of video online, Snapchat, an app that allows you to send photos and videos that self-destruct within 10 seconds, and finally Path, a social network for mobile phones that limits the number of people you interact with to just 150. There are various ways to interact and people are using these networks to, to interact in different ways and, and these are very new applications. It is a, a key factor people will be disrupted by this but it's ultimately just the way that people are now interacting. It's really more of a, a tribute to how good their marketing is and how viral these things can go um, in the first few weeks but I would, I would come back in a year's time and say which of those three has survived which has, which has become you know, which has become the new Facebook and which is the, you know, the, the MySpace of, the, of those three. This trait has sent the popularity of these apps skyrocketing. Experts estimate that Wine has upwards of 15 to 18 million users, thanks to its tie-up with Twitter, followed by Snapchat with 7 to 8 million users and Path with 5 to 6 million. Impressive numbers that experts believe make these apps great platforms for marketers to get onto. Yeah, I think these are great opportunities for marketing because these uh, social networks, although they aren't exactly new, uh, Path in particular is a couple of years old, but they do still feel much more fresh than Facebook or Twitter or other social networks out there. So while the user bases aren't huge, uh, there is definitely an opportunity to connect more closely with the users of these social networks. Uh, and so being you know, one of the first to be marketing on these services could definitely give uh, those companies uh, a bit of a leg up. Vine appears to be the best bet for marketers, considering that it gives them greater access to Twitter's massive user base. Then there's the six second limit that forces a brand to be more creative with content. General Electric was first on the Vine bandwagon, releasing short animated clips that highlighted the GE logo as well as clips that teased National Inventors Day in the USA. GE's use of the Vine platform shortly after the announcement was made by Twitter shows a very simple yet effective use of the platform. A simple rendering or animation done with blue pen and sketching out their logo was captioned with innovation starts at the drawing board. Again, simple yet effective communications. And Armani used Wine to release their spring summer 2013 collection. While Unilever developed a mini bowling video to showcase their dove range of products. And Bacardi, not to be outdone, showed off a heady range of brews. And the strategy behind how you approach anything like this is, is, is hugely important. So Vine videos could be very powerful if they embrace them in the right way uh, and, and think about the audience and just be clever with the creative execution. Another app making waves is Snapchat. Launched in November 2011, the app allows users to send photos and videos that disappear within 10 seconds. It's a strange concept, but one that seems to be very popular. The app has shared over a billion images so far, with up to 25 million images being shared per day. Oops. Those are impressive numbers, but the question that marketers are asking is, how can one possibly develop a campaign around an app whose content vanishes within seconds? 16 handle this is the best, 16 handle beat the rest, 16 flavors all day long, come and get your bro you the answer to that might lie with New York-based frozen yogurt company 16 Handles, which recently became the first brand to conduct a promotion using Snapchat. The company came up with an innovative campaign where they encouraged users to take snaps of themselves enjoying frozen yogurt and send it to the company's Snapchat account. In exchange, they would get discounts on their purchase. 
soon as we launched the promotion, we had a lot of people, I'd say at least a few hundred, adding us as a friend on Snapchat, uh, showing that they were intending to participate in some point. And then they started actually trickling in using the coupon, maybe 10 the first day, maybe 15 the next day. Um, but as the promotion got you know, picked up uh, by different media outlets and as people would tell their friends about it, we got more and more every day. And now that we've kind of worked out the kinks and figure out, figured out what works and what doesn't, we plan in the future to launch it across our entire system of stores. Next on our list is the social network for mobile phones, Path. This app restricts the number of friends that can be added onto a user's friend list to 150. The aim? To create a more personal network that caters only to close friends and family. An idea that has clearly appealed to users considering that there are an estimated 5 million people using this app. However, the restricted nature of Path is what makes this app the toughest for marketers to crack. To date, no brand has tried to develop any content for Path, but experts are still optimistic about its prospects. Apps like Path are certainly the next generation of, uh, you know, uh, of social networking apps which are, I would call them, you're curating your own social network. Path, uh, in my mind, can be, you know, both a uh, acquisition target for some of the larger networks. Uh, at the same time, as these communities evolve, it has the ability to, uh, to do a lot of uh, sort of co-opt marketing. It's almost like network marketing because you are within, you know, so you know people, you can, you know, so it has that potential as such. It's a really good kind of family kind of a place where you can, if, if targeting is allowed and I can target, you know, somebody can target me and my family or me and my friends, it can do group stuff like travel stuff, insurance stuff, home buying stuff. It's a restricted set of activities but that's, that's kind of what a path can do. One obvious trait of these apps is the fact that content can be made on a very low budget and sent to a large audience. This makes it attractive to startup and challenger brands that are not in a position to outspend bigger and more established brands. Yet, experts believe that brands like Axe and Kama Sutra are ideally placed to tap into the edgy nature of an app like Snapchat, while cola giants Pepsi and Coke could possibly take advantage of the capabilities wine offers. And with big brands making their presence felt abroad, it's only a matter of time before Indian brands get in on the game as well. Yeah, yeah. While you Indian marketers out there digest this, we're going in for a short break. But up next, we bring you a rather interesting gender story. And this time, we're not rooting for the women. Stay tuned.